I, I think what's exciting about the DIYer is that it's a whole new paradigm. There's a lot of 3D printers out there. There's a lot of laser cutters out there, CNC equipment. But at the desktop scale, CNC rod bending just doesn't exist. When we realized that this was a complete hole in uh, the rapid prototyping or desktop manufacturing market, we decided to pursue it. The DIY wire is a desktop wire bender that you can use for desktop fabrication. To create something entirely new that can complement all that different equipment, I mean, it's not replacing any of it, but if you could use this wire bender with a 3D printer and a laser cutter and a router, and you put all those parts together, you can build really, really big, really strong in the real product. The way the DIY wire works is you take your 2D curve, save it as an SVG file, import it into our software, and press bend. One of the things that makes the DIY wire unique is that you can build big, you can build strong, you can build in steel, copper, aluminum, or whatever material you really need, and you can build fast. The wire bender as a tool to bring ideas to life very, very quickly is something that really sets it apart from other kinds of um, desktop manufacturing. One of the things that really excited me about it was starting to see other people's response of what they would make with it. You know, the idea that you can break down large three-dimensional shapes um, into sections, bend them up very quickly, uh, solder them together, weld them together, uh, place them, even clip them together, depending on your application, but really, really quickly create these three-dimensional forms built out of sections um, was really exciting. So we really wanted to think through the entire process. So a lot of times when you get all these different wires out and you have to assemble them, fixturing is 95% of the problem. It takes a lot of time. So we've come up with a, a series of clips and holders that can really help hold all your parts together, register to the right spot before you go in with solder or welding or spot welding or any of those kind of different ways to join it. We first released the DIY wire last year and it was put together with some wood and plastic and different parts and it worked pretty well and it's open source. When we wanted to develop it as a product, we really wanted to focus on accuracy, repeatability, and as well as aesthetic. If you look at products around the world, you start noticing that wires use all the time. Fundamentally for me, the most important part of it is building the shape and the structure of another object. DIY wire fills a gap in manufacturing between hand bending and large CNC wire bending machines by being fast, affordable, and truly accessible. We know the DIY wire has a lot of potential, but there's no way for us as a small team to come up with all the different applications for it. We want to get one into your hands so that you can join our growing community. We hope you support us. Thanks.